Hi everyone, this is Pedro from Pytalista with one more video. So this is going to be a fairly quick one and simple. So I'll teach you in this one how to trigger a HTTP Azure function using the factory. Um, sometimes uh, you have, let's say you have a HTTP trigger uh, Azure function and then you wanted to trigger, I don't know how many times a year, uh, or a year, sorry, a day, uh, or maybe once a day, and you wanted to just pass some parameters, um, that's a good uh, way to trigger using the factory. The integration uh, with Azure Functions is pretty simple. Uh, but sometimes there are some tricks that I'll tell you how to do it. And let's do it. So first I have uh, the functions already deployed. But um, if you wanted to know how to design your or build your first function using Azure function, using VS Code and how to deploy it, I have another video that I'll put a link here on top. You just click there. I will leave the link in the description as well. So the purpose here is just to show you what the function does. So the function is just a HTTP trigger. I have a post and a get. So if it's a get, I need to pass the query parameter. If it's a post, I need to pass a body. So it's pretty much, I have a query parameter here. I'll put a parameter that's called name. That's only one. And then a value, which is any name. I just put in my name here for an, for an example. If I press send, that's going to give me a response. Hello, Pedro. What do you want for lunch? Uh, and this function is uh, alive. If you if you are watching this video, you can do that. This is the URL. Put your name, and then it's gonna return that. So that's basically what the function does. So now let's go to the data factory. Uh, you can just. Uh, I'm just gonna show you how quick it is. So it triggers. It executes. Uh, and then it's succeeded. So if I get the return, so it does the same thing. So it's working. So now let's now do together step by step. So first I'm going to just um, delete that one. Uh, and then I also delete the link service that I created earlier. So it's pretty much new pipeline. And then let's call it um, trigger. Sorry. Let's call it trigger uh, function HTTP. And then you go here, Azure function. Uh, let's call it um, call function, this activity. And you go to settings, you have a need a linked services. You click um, here and then automatically create one, the type linked services. I'll call it link service uh, function Azure. And then because there's a very good integration with Azure, I'm just picking my um, subscription and then the function and then the key you get from here. So if you go to your function, you go app keys and then you get the default one, that's enough. And then you go back here and paste and then the link service is done, successfully created. The function name is, you go on the HTTP, let's go on the Postman, is that one, is the name of the function, not the uh, URL here. And then that's it. And the method, I'm just gonna use get, and then that's it. Let's debug, but I'm not passing any parameter on purpose. Should work. 
it worked succeeded if i get the uh, um, output it says this http trigger function executed successfully pass a name in the query string in the request body for a personalized response so if i go here and then put a query parameter which is like a question mark and then give me the parameter which is name and the value is any name i can put pedro let's put john this time and then if i debug and trigger i should have a response hello john what do you want for lunch hmm sorry let me just yeah refresh yeah hello john what do you want for lunch done so that's pretty much it uh there is uh nothing to it so one thing that people may make a mistake and i think i did that first time i tried and it failed so when you put a function key here that needs to be anonymous um there is the option like system assigned management identity uh, i think mistakenly i put that and then something failed so that's pretty much it and also even though sometimes uh you have a fun this function is anonymous so i don't need like a key so if you even put a key in a function you always put anonymous uh because sometimes you have to pass the uh in the url also the query part like the 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 key to allow you authenticate so when you do that through data factory you never put in the url um the key so that would fail so that's probably the thing that i would say you to do and that's pretty much it so if you have any questions just put the comments below and don't forget to subscribe to the channel and like the video and thanks for watching again see you next time